The world is full of endless wonders, some natural and some man-made. But then there are all of those events that happen that really leave us dazed and confused. Lights in the sky, strange weather occurrences, and even animals acting in ways we could never anticipate. There's a never-ending list of things in the world to make us all say a collective wow. So, join me for today's video as we take a look at the 15 most unique natural phenomena. Number 15. Fairy Circles Well off the beaten path in the Namib Desert in Namibia are evenly spaced circles in the middle of vegetation known as fairy circles. But how did they get there? Well, it's probably not the work of desert fairies, so some popular theories are fires, winds, and for some, aliens. But scientists have been left scratching their heads over the circles for years, and the true explanation behind the phenomenon is still a mystery. But there are two theories that stand out above the rest. One possible explanation is that the fairy circles are created by termites clearing out the vegetation in the area around their nests to create underground reservoirs of water. That's pretty impressive in its own right, if that's correct. The second theory is that the plants are competing amongst each other for water. Either way, it sounds more like science fiction than reality, but neither theory really accounts for why the circles stay barren for so long and without traces of visible termite colonies. So until then, the mystery of the fairy circles continues. Number 14. Volcanic Lightning On its own, a volcanic eruption can be both a terrifying and mystifying experience, and is best viewed from a distance. But many eruptions are accompanied by a unique natural phenomenon known as volcanic lightning. Also known as a dirty thunderstorm, volcanic lightning is different from your average thunderstorm. Here, the lightning doesn't come down from the sky towards the Earth, but it would seem from the eruption itself. No one knows exactly why this occurs, but many scientists believe that the rock fragments, ash, and ice particles in the volcanic plume collide with one another and clash into the cooler air, and the oppositely charged particles separate from each other. The charge distribution balances out, creating the lightning bolt. Think of it perhaps as the ultimate static shock, only this one is much louder and far more destructive and some of the bigger volcanic storms just might prove to be as powerful as the supercell thunderstorms that spawn tornadoes. Some of the volcanic lightning bolts and storms have been seen over eruptions in Japan, Iceland, and even Alaska. Number 13. Bioluminescent Beaches Most people are probably familiar with the beach's red tides, although it may make for a bit of a shocking sight, they are, for the most part, harmless. But there are some parts of the world where coastal waters show off different colored plankton that can really light up the beach, literally. If you ever head over to the Maldives, then you might just see what everyone is talking about. As the waves crash upon the shores of Vadu Island, they often leave behind bioluminescent plankton that give off an eerie yet beautiful bright blue glow. The entire event looks like it belongs in a fairy tale, but it is real. So what exactly is happening to cause this plankton to light up the beaches at night? Simply put, different pigments and enzymes mix with the oxygen, and the result is the magical blue glow. But what many people may not realize is that while this phenomenon is absolutely stunning to witness, the bioluminescence of the plankton is really a defense mechanism. Their light distracts the nearby predators, disrupting their swimming behavior, and sometimes even bringing in a bigger fish to devour them. Number 12. Aurora Borealis you can't have a list of natural phenomena without talking about Aurora Borealis. A popular bucket list item for many people around the world, the Aurora Borealis or Northern Lights occur over the lower altitude Arctic and Antarctic regions. Perhaps if they occurred naturally in more populated areas, then they wouldn't be so special. The Aurora Borealis is named after Aurora, the Roman goddess of the dawn, and cast an alien-like light over the icy night sky. This breathtaking display of nature occurs when the highly charged electrons of the solar winds collide with Earth's atmosphere. These solar winds are flowing from the sun along the magnetic lines of the Earth's core and bounce off of oxygen and nitrogen atoms in the upper atmosphere, causing the display. The colors are absolutely spectacular, ranging from green, red, blue, and even violet. It all depends on which atoms the winds hit and where in the atmosphere they meet. Different altitudes produce different colors, so it's safe to say that no two viewings will ever be alike as this multicolored phenomenon shifts and whips its way across the sky. Number 11. Frost Flowers 
everybody loves flowers, and there's nothing like looking over a fresh flower meadow in a part of the world that's untouched by man. But what about a frost flower? Well, technically speaking, there are two types of frost flowers. One occurs with thin layers of ice protrude from long-stemmed plants, with the other form occurring when ice crystals grow on iced over seas and lakes. But both types are absolutely awesome and a one-of-a-kind experience. But don't expect to see them too often, because these frost flowers are an incredibly rare phenomenon, so you'll have to be extra lucky to spot one. That's because the conditions for occurrence have to be just right. The formation is totally dependent on the freezing weather conditions while the ground is yet to freeze over. Sap from plant stems will expand, causing long, thin cracks to form. Water seeps through the cracks in the plants and freezes as soon as they hit the air, and the more water that comes through, the more it pushes the ice layers from their stem. This is how the petals are formed, but don't expect to come home with a bouquet of frost flowers too. Both the petals and the stems are incredibly fragile and will almost always break when touched. Number 10. Blood Falls Not all unique natural phenomena are created equal, but even the creepy ones can still be appreciated. Case in point with the Blood Falls, the name says it all. The Blood Falls is a waterfall that spurts blood red water into the river below in Antarctica. The first ever record of the Blood Falls was back in 1911 in the McMurdo Dry Valley, and one can only imagine how frightened those people must have been. Scientists have originally believed that the Blood Falls were just a product of the red algae, but no one was ever able to prove that hypothesis. Science has come a long way since then, so it really wasn't until 2017 that the mystery of the Blood Falls was finally solved. Researchers at the University of Alaska discovered the true origin of this horror movie come to life. The red color is a result of the iron in the brine salt water oxidizing, which is the same reaction that causes rust. But Rust Falls doesn't quite have the same ring to it as Blood Falls does, so I'm glad they kept a name. Number 9. Rolling Stones While the Rolling Stones may have been a music phenomenon, the Rolling Stones or Sailing Stones in Death Valley National Park and Little Bonnie Claire Playa are something else completely. This naturally occurring phenomenon is a wild one to say the least. The Rolling Stones got their name because they move along the smooth floor of the valley without any human or animal intervention, leaving long trails behind them as proof. How can something like this happen, especially since some of these rocks can be as heavy as 600 pounds? Are the rocks alive? Well, not quite. These valleys have large sheets of ice that break into a winter pond because of the blistering heat in the area on a sunny day. This thin ice floats at about 16 feet per minute by the winds, and as a result the rocks move and leave their small snail trail behind. But what's even cooler about this event is that you'll notice some trails are in a straight line, while others may be a bit wavy. It's the smooth rocks that are able to turn this way, and the rough surface rocks move in a straight line. Number 8. Hidden Beach Going to the beach on a hot summer's day is awesome, but having to share it with hundreds, if not thousands of people, all who had the same idea, is not. There's one beach in Mexico, the Playa del Amor, that's become simply known as the Hidden Beach. The beach is made up of a small patch of sand that's surrounded by water and is completely encircled by a cliff. And while the rocks, sand, and water of Playa del Amor are all natural, nature had a little bit of help with this one. The site is just a few miles off Mexico's coast, where the Mexican government and military would let off a little bit of steam, using the area for target practice. But unbeknownst to them at the time, they ended up creating this awesome, tiny, off-the-beaten-path beach. And while everybody knows about secluded Playa del Amor by now, you really have to put in the work to get there. An hour-long boat ride will get you to the island, but then it's up to you to either swim or paddle through the water to get to the actual beach. And even then, good luck, because it's still pretty hard to find. Number 7. Frozen Bubbles Who doesn't remember blowing bubbles as a kid and all the simple joy it brought us? Well, this unique natural phenomenon takes blowing bubbles to an all-new extreme. The frozen bubbles can be seen during the tough winters at Abraham Lake in Alberta, Canada, and look like thousands of bubbles trapped not just under the iced over surface, but in time. This phenomenon occurs when methane gases under the lake get trapped and freeze to create this otherworldly oddity. But because the bubbles are made of methane, they are as dangerous as they are beautiful. That much methane, even frozen and underwater, is highly flammable. 
and you don't have to get under the icy surface to cause an explosion. Even a lit match or a lighter in the area can cause a giant explosion. And if explosive lakes aren't enough, the methane gas under the lake is a sign of how much warmer the planet is becoming. So while the frozen bubbles of Abraham Lake look spectacular, it's not something we really want to see. Eventually, the ice will begin to melt in the spring, causing the bubbles to burst naturally and make for one stinky lake. Number 6. Pink Lake Swimming in a crystal clear blue lake is awesome, no doubt. But what about a pink lake? You best stay as far away from that one as you can. So, you've never heard of a pink lake before? Well, then you clearly haven't been to Lake Hillier in Australia. Australia is a continent full of all sorts of natural oddities, and so why should their lakes be any different? Lake Hillier is a bright bubblegum pink, about 2,000 feet long and about 820 feet wide. But this odd body of water was discovered over two centuries ago in 1802, and to this day, no one is totally sure how it got its unique color. Many biologists do agree that the bright pink hue of Lake Hillier's water is due to an overabundance of a microalgae that produces carotenoids, which is also the pigment in carrots. Generally speaking, the best way to see the phenomenon that is Lake Hillier is by helicopter or plane to give you a bird's eye view, but you can also get up close and personal if you want. The pink lake won't melt your skin, but it has a salinity of 30%, which is quite high, and you can find salt deposits all along its shoreline. But this is not the type of water you want to drink, get in a cut, or worse, get in your eye. Number 5. Light Pillars Aurora Borealis isn't the only light or weather phenomenon out there, not by a long shot. Light pillars aren't as well known as the northern lights, but perhaps that's what makes them all the more exciting. Instead of lights rippling across the sky, light pillars look like beams of light sent down from UFOs above. These narrow light paths typically extend from the Arctic skies, but also in some places in the United States and in Canada, which also make them a bit more accessible. You'll only find them in places of extreme cold, so make sure you pack accordingly. But at the end of the day, these pillars are just an optical phenomenon or optical illusion that's created when the frigid air turns the moisture around it into tiny crystals. The crystals slowly but surely begin to sink back down towards the ground, but when the surrounding light, like that from, say, a street light, hits the crystals, it creates a tall, thin, and awesome light illusion. Number 4. Mirror of the Sky How great would it be if you could look up to the sky without having to crank your neck? And don't forget about the sun hurting your eyes. Well, the sky mirror will solve all of those problems for you. Instead of looking up to the heavens, all you have to do is look down. This unique natural phenomenon occurs on the waters of Sasaran Beach in Kuala Lumpur twice a month, during the new moon and the full moon period. This is the two times a month when the tide is lowest for two days. The smooth sands of Sasaran Beach and the minimal yet perfect amount of water create what look like a mirror on the ground for as far as the eye can see, and it's absolutely stunning. Look to your left and it looks like someone is running on air. Look to your right and you'll see someone laying amongst the clouds. This phenomenon has earned the beach the nickname Mirror of the Sky. Naturally, the Mirror of the Sky is an incredibly popular tourist attraction and perhaps the perfect place for a well-timed photo op as well. And to add to the magic of it all, baby clams are scattered all over the beach. The island that the Sasaran Beach sits on is located just off the mainland coast and is accessible by just a 30-minute boat ride. Number 3. Turquoise Ice while visiting a lake in Russia during the dead of winter may not sound like the most fun idea, there is one lake in the country that's worth bringing an extra layer for. Russia's Lake Baikal is a gem of a lake, quite literally actually. The lake is the oldest, deepest, and clearest freshwater lake in the entire world and completely freezes over during the winter months when the temperatures go well below zero. But the freshwater makes for some of the most spectacular ice you will ever see. And this isn't the type of ice you keep in a tray in the freezer. You can see right through the frozen blocks, and they catch the light just about as perfectly as the shiniest turquoise gem can. And you can definitely appreciate the turquoise ice of Lake Baikal all the more seeing as how this phenomenon only lasts for a few months out of the year. And you can be sure that although the color remains, no two winters of Lake Baikal will look exactly the same. Number 2. Blue Lava the Indonesian island of Java is home to Kawa Ijen, an active volcano, and while this site hasn't seen a real eruption or volcanic lightning since the early 1800s, there's still one aspect about the site that tourists come in droves for, 
And it's not the citrine-colored stones or white gas that billow from the area, no. The main attraction of Kawaijen is the blue lava. The volcano's magma chamber is constantly puffing out sulfur, which, when it comes into contact with the hot air, burns in an electric blue flame. So while it's technically not blue lava, Kawaijen is constantly burning off this blue flame morning, noon, and night when it's especially spectacular. And sitting in the 12-mile-wide caldera is a lake with its own brilliant shade of light blue that's a result of the sulfur mixing with the high-concentration metals in the water, which is the most acidic crater lake in the world. Number 1. Eye of the Sahara We're ending our list deep in the Sahara Desert. Formerly known as the Richat structure, the Eye of the Sahara is a prominent feature in the area just west of Mauritania. And while you may not be able to recognize if you're standing right on top of it, it's when you get a bird's eye view of the unusual natural formation where you see it live up to its name. That's because, well, it really does look like the eye of something gazing straight up into the heavens. And if you ever needed proof that the Earth is a living, breathing entity, this might be it. The eye of the Sahara is almost too good to be true. But how can something like this exist? Well, it's not that complicated. The enormous eye is a dome made of sedimentary rock with a diameter of a whopping 25 miles caused by thousands of years of erosion. The inner eye itself is made of broken fragments of minerals and rocks that have essentially fused together, which give it its familiar look. And this part of the structure has a diameter of about 19 miles. The Eye of the Sahara has become a huge draw for airline crews and airline passengers and is truly a sight to behold. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos.